So as Timothy and Zaba walk away from Syl and Vesuviak to go and talk to the cartographer, uh, Vesuviak and Syl start to make their way over to the farm to ask about these border disputes that have been brought to their attention by the council. However, Vesuviak has been a little restless since he saw the killing intent and the spirit that posed to be a very significant challenge to them that he realizes could have gone much, much worse had uh, had his friends not had a, a steel will behind them as well. After about a couple minutes, Vesuviak will look over to Syl and ask his question. So, I, uh, there's something that I am trying to understand a bit more. What exactly is this jewel we're going after? It's, it's the jewel of the Indoko Isles, the Poppy's jewel. You, didn't you get a briefing or something before you signed up for this? Not really. Uh, remember, I was kind of stranded by my last crew, and uh, this was one of the first ships that I saw to take me off of the island. So, I figured it was just a treasure hunt, a way to get glory and fame. That's not what this is, is it? Not not so much, no. I mean, it, it started that way. We were looking for Poppy's treasure. We King wanted it. He was going to pay well, but... Uh, turns out Poppy was into some, well, pretty dark shit. She was fighting some kind of cult, and this jewel will stop it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not really the one to ask. Practice, you know, doing all the research. You, you don't know Practice. She's, you know, she's really smart. Uh, she's not here right now, but I mean, is that? going to be a problem? Are you scared? Scared is a strong word for me. I would say more unnerved. It's not very often that you see spirits appear out of seemingly nowhere. And uh, the fact that it seems that this is happening in multiple locations all at once... You only just recently found a fragment of this jewel, right? Yeah. Yeah, we just have one. I'm worried that you finding this jewel may have set in motion a domino effect of unpleasant things to come. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like there was already some weird stuff happening. There was, like, these statues they found and this weird plant that was, like, undead or something. But, you know, I, I don't know if it's related. Procta seemed to think so. She told me to come do this, but, I mean, you know, you're a big scary dragon, right? You can You can handle ghosts. I can handle ghosts just fine but I worry about what we'll find when we get closer to the fragment on this island. Yeah, yeah. I mean, last time there was like a giant... Well, that was Poppy's arena, there, but th there might be some bad bad stuff. Uh, I mean, if, if you don't want to keep going, you can, you know, I don't know, what, do your Saren Ray stuff yourself at some other way, I suppose. Like, that's your thing, right, Saren Ray? Yes. That, that is who I worship. I'm... I'm not wanting out of this mission. I do very much want to help out. But I also want to make sure that I understand completely what's happening. Partially because if there happens to be a divine reason for this jewel to have been split up, or if there is something, you know, if followers of Ravagug are trying to get this jewel, I may be able to call in a few favors. Oh, you got pull with the gods? 
I don't know why Saren Ray specifically picked me for this little redemption path that she has me on. But I also know that gods rarely do things on accident. Sure, sure. So redemption, that's that's Saren Ray's thing? I, I don't know much about the gods, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not my thing. Redemption, fire, light. Ultimately, Saren Ray stands for keeping the natural orders of things good and prosperous. And that includes taking people who have done not great things and trying to make them work for the better. Zappa's going to be a bit of a big project for me, it seems, but uh, I also get the feeling that that's not the only thing I'm going to have to worry about. Hopefully, hopefully there won't be any backstabbing. Where's, uh, where's Sarenray fall on, you know, like, what if you did things, but then, like, you change, or, like, maybe you don't even remember the things you did? You still on the hook? I don't think she'd let me forget what I've done. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, good point. So, We all yeah. have things we've done that we've regretted. I'm no exception. I just happen to be receiving a uh, rather harsh punishment for myself. If it were any... I I guess I should count myself lucky if it were any other dragon. Some adventuring party, like us, could swing by my lair and wipe me out. That's... Yeah, I mean, you could be taken out by a little house drake. You never... You never know. Uh, you're, You're not into killing people anymore though right that that might be a problem oh i'll kill if necessary but only if i don't see a redemption for them oh okay well that's i mean that's that's something uh i mean i don't know about you getting to judge but is that is that timothy running towards us It is. Where's Zaba? Crap. Welcome back, everybody, to the 25 North Podcast. I am your GM, Jason. As always, I have the crew with me. What is up, folks? Uh, I have a ceiling above me. You dork. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> We've made it this far, and everybody's avoided making sky jokes, and you're just going to do that like this? It's, I it's a nice day sky, out. I said the ceiling. Jackson. Oh, it's close enough. Jackson. It's close Jackson. enough. It's right there. You're so much better than this. Am, am I? Am I yes, really? Yes. You tell funnier jokes when we're not recording. No, you the know, issue is that I always tell bad jokes. It's just every now and then some of them are funny. <laughs> we thought we thought we were rid of puns when we got when Johnny left, but really. No. No, no, puns actually come with us. We're like, this is a package deal. You get really bad puns and stupid jokes. I'm fine with the stupid jokes, but <laughs> not the puns. puns are, are not my favorite thing in the world. Mm-hmm. The puns are a step too far. <laughs> <laughs> Check Give out later some fun when... alliteration instead, please. <laughs> Check out later Just... when Corey and Jackson start throwing down in real time. <laughs> <laughs> From 15... 15- Hundred miles away. Yeah, exactly. Maybe by the flagpole. We'll figure yeah. out which one later. Pistols at dawn. <laughs> Just start walking. We'll see where we meet. <laughs> oh, probably Whoever makes somewhere it wins. around Denver. <laughs> All right. 
So I am at the final boss of Final Fantasy 16. I hit the pause button and put my PS5 into sleep mode to record this. You're welcome, <laughs> listeners. Oh, how brave of you. Thank you for humbling us with your grace. You're, you're welcome, listeners. <laughs> Not players. Listeners, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't give a care about the players. Listeners, you're fucking lucky. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's been amazing so far. It's been absolutely amazing. Uh, we were having a discussion prior to... Uh, prior to re- hitting the record button. And we were told by a certain person that starts... Whose name starts with a J. <laughs> that... He has not played but one Final Fantasy and didn't care for it. Yeah, yeah. I uh, My first entry into Final Fantasy ever was uh, 13. Incorrect. <laughs> incorrect of you. Incorrect of you to actually do this to yourself. Now, to be fair, I have given 7 and 6 a try, but there, I don't know. There's just something about that experience with 13 that has tainted the entire series When did for me. you play 7 and 6, though? Probably like a year after. It was like junior, senior year of high school. Jackson, you a man than when I met you in high school, you <laughs> stupid idiot. <laughs> play it again. I'm going to jump on board this as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... Well, I won't defend the entire Final Fantasy franchise. It's got no. a couple hits and misses, and everybody has their personal favorite. I'm just going to say you you played all the wrong ones. <laughs> I know some people have a real sweet spot for 7, but honestly, I, I never really got the hype. I played the original, <sighs> didn't bother playing the remake. But 9 is literally the game that taught me how to read. I was given it to PlayStation 1 and the user guide when I was quite young, and there's no voice acting in those old games, so you had to learn how to read. I didn't care about books, but I wanted to know what was happening in the game. So I'm going to recommend going to 9. It's got probably the most digestible story, as well as the most recognizable characters. Well, also, it was their first entry into starting to get into the more 3D modernized uh, polygon-based graphics. So it, it holds up all right. I recently was replaying it and it's really good. 13 is not. 15 is not. 15 is bad. I could talk about how bad 15 is for seven hours. Um, Some people have probably seen me talk about it in chat. I was very excited when that game came out and it hurt me. (laughs) Bad. And it's not good. But nine is. Like, why did you make it sound like this game came into your home and physically assaulted you? Because that's it what pretty it much did. Like. It assaulted my wallet because I I bought the like crazy deluxe edition because oh. I was I was waiting for this game, and then you finally get into it and it's a boy band camping simulator where your entire party is more concerned with their hair looking good and whining that they didn't get a nice photo during combat than they are the actual ongoing plot in this world that is seemingly being devastated as much as I could tell. I played like 12, 13 hours of this game. It's not like I just played an hour. I don't, I, I've got a good basis. I made it like four cities into this bad boy. And it's not good. 14, good. 12, good. If you're into the more active combat style, some people aren't. I like 12. 13, not the place to start. No. I think even the creators of 13 would tell you it's not the place to start. No, not at all. See, I You'd think be better off starting other... off with Crisis Core. I think the other thing that really threw me off with 13 and why I didn't like it so much is that I grew up with Zelda. So, you know, going around... The train and... tracks bothered you? Oh, no I, no, I loved Spirit Tracks. Don't get me wrong. Spirit Tracks is one of my favorite Zelda games. That game is mad no, underrated. I no, mean I mean the train tracks, uh, the proverbial train tracks in Final Fantasy XIII. Oh, the, oh okay, Where yeah. the level design is a literal corridor for the whole game. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, the, the, the railroading <laughs> wasn't what turned me off. It was actually the combat system, because I felt like XIII did a very, very bad job of communicating that it was turn-based. 
because I kept on trying to like actively move the character around. I'm like, why am I not moving? I could easily dodge that sword slash by stepping left. What's going on? But I, I and like there was nothing in the game in the way that it was presented to me that screamed that. Oh no, this is turn-based combat. You're supposed to just sit here, pick your thing, and then just let the fight Wait, play out. Wait, these games normal. are still turn-based. Uh, 13 was, but 15, uh, 14's an MMO, uh, and 15 and yeah, 16 are not turn-based. No, 16 was 16, a hybrid system. Yeah. 16 is more action akin to Devil May Cry in terms of combat than it is classic turn-based. Mm-hmm. See... Corey, you, you unfortunately insulted the game that did start me in uh, Final Fantasy. I played Crisis Core on the PSP, was my first Final Fantasy game. And I wasn't joking. You'd be better off starting with Crisis Core. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> it, oh, my God. It, I really, really liked Crisis Core uh, because... Uh, I don't know, the characters and like how the world felt was really cool. And then I was like, wait a minute, there's more of these games? And then I found that, out and I started playing more and more of them. Is that the one with that stars Zack? Yeah! Okay, he, yeah. He was one of my video game crushes growing up. I, I don't have to defend myself. He was an idiot and I like idiots. <laughs> That's why she's dating me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you don't have Zack's hair. No. No, but I do. He's apparently got his goofiness, have, though. As as uh, Luder likes to say, "Heart of gold, dumb of ass." Yeah. <laughs> You're pure of heart, dumb of ass. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Golden retrievers be like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I also really like Final Fantasy uh, 14, like the online one. I've started playing it more because I play with Adam and Lindsay uh, from the Roaring Trainers. Because we'll hang out and we'll just play video games together sometimes. It's really fun. I play... I don't remember what the fuck race I am. All I know is that I have a dragon tail, I cast magic, and I have a great day. And I meet <laughs> silly characters with fun names. I uh, I played a lot of 14, and uh, one of our players that recently left also played a lot of 14, so... Two of them. I think... Oh, did both both of them Sarah play Sarah and Cynthia are oh, okay. deep into 14. Hey. Yeah. Deep, deep into 14. So I think that's a, that's a pretty good stamp right there. That's like four of us saying that 14 is a good game. Yeah. And that's even with it being an MMO. Well, I can only do one MMO at a time. RuneScape's got its claws on me, and it's not letting go anytime soon. <laughs> it's, time, it's time to modernize. Please. What do you mean? They just came out with content last week. <laughs> it's, it's 2023. Desert Treasure 2 came out in 2023. You come need on. to stop paying for your for your Guild Wars 1 account and come to the modern era. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 know, I know it's called EverQuest, but it's time to stop. Forever. It's time to stop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, but you know what's not time to stop? Yeah. Pathfinder? Yeah, it's not time to stop Pathfinder, and it's not time to stop this quest to go get Zaba healed up after he joined the two club yet again and triggered a trap, an ink trap, shall we say. Yeah, it was a bunch of dastardly ink quills that came out and attacked Zaba. Oh. So no no assistance in preventing it from Timothy at all. Oh my god! <laughs> you gonna blame me for your dumbassery? I don't think so, idiot. <laughs> I've had some time since our last session to think about this, and it's definitely Timothy's fault. Oh, it's absolutely Timothy's fault. You know what? You know what? Shame I on me. It. Shame yeah. on me for not being <laughs> smart enough to think, wait a minute, this might be booby-trapped. It's a good thing you didn't go through that door first, though. Oh I think my god, I would have died. died. I would have died. <laughs> <laughs> but last we left off, you all went back to the city council and reported the um, the happenings over at the Academy of Tastes, letting them know that hey, there was in fact a murder, and figured out what it was. It was a spirit by the name of the Killing Intent. Yeah. Who was in who inhabited a student who murdered the Dean de Cuisine, then 
just so happened to inhabit the Sioux Scholar who tried to murder you. The Sioux Scholar got murdered by Zaba and the killing intent was trying to inhabit one of you but unsuccessfully managed to do that because you all managed to kill it before it inhabited you. <laughs> and I'd do it again. Now, <laughs> now you did also report back that you found the maps and they said that they would help you try to locate the location of the cave um, because what it looks like is that the cave might be in a part of the island that's really dense and thick called the Briar Cove. Now, the Briar Cove, they they were going to try to find a way to get through it and potentially the location of said cave. But while they do that, they were hoping that you could help out with some other spiritual activity that seems to be happening, happening around town. There was three locations. Well, you all decided to go ahead and split the party and check out two of those locations. While Syl and Vesuviak head up to the farms, Zaba and Timothy decide to head over to Clean Lines Surveying. Clean Lines Surveying is a surveying cartography shop that is owned by a well-respected female Orpa cartographer by the name of Alasha the Surveyor, who you know has dedicated herself to aiding the residents of Seaview most of which are farmers around town and in establishing like property lines and settling like land disputes because she is so well renowned and dedicated to her craft however something strange has been going on something's wrong that was a Ghostbusters reference <laughs> I, forget, I forget I am much older than you all now Johnny's not here. I would have gotten it. I just wanted to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> okay. I've seen Ghostbusters, but that reference was unfortunately lost on me. Anyway. <laughs> all of her maps have started... Well, not all of them. A, a good chunk of her maps have started being distorted. Like, the ink on, that, on those parchments have shifted in such a way that it looks like they've been modified. Well, no, it, it actually, I scratched that. It doesn't look like they've been modified. It looks like they were originally drawn inaccurately. Like the, the ink was drawn in such a way originally, but, but Alasha knows that she did not draw it this way because it is not her style. So she's very confused. So Timothy goes and Zaba goes to go check it out. Timothy gets his flirt on, or attempts <laughs> to get his flirt on. And meanwhile, Zaba's kind of inspecting. Unbeknownst to Zaba, joins the two club, which I revealed to Corey after the recording that he became part of the two club yet again. And I roll good. I roll good. <laughs> While. Alasha and Timothy are chatting, decide to go and check out the back room where the ink and the parchments are. Zaba leads the way, triggers a trap, goes down, unconscious, into dying. Timothy immediately pulls out a potion, gets Zaba back on his feet. They decide to lock up shop, head back out, and try to find Syl and Vesuviak before pursuing any further, and that's where we left. If I remember correctly, Zaba was gonna go into the ship, and Timothy's like, "Are you fucking serious?" Yeah, yes, that's right. I, uh, I go back to ship. Is safe place. No, they come there. They know to find us there. Oh. I take some rest. It'd be fine. Oh you go God. to farm. Zaba, please. <sighs> All right. Yeah, Timothy, I also remember that he was going to be taking uh, the Orpak uh, with him as well, too, because he did not want to leave her alone in a shop that could possibly end up killing her. N not the right thing to do. So, yeah, 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you took Alasha with you. Yeah, Alasha. Thank you. I couldn't remember her name. You said it, and I forgot it. So, yeah, I guess Timothy's running out to the street with Alasha in tow. Zaba, you're just crawling. Uh-huh. It's a trap. Trap. Hey, bud. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. We, I, we just saw that. I'm gonna go get them. Uh, I don't want to leave you alone, but... I... I'll go to boat. I can breathe underwater. It's fine. I run away to ocean. It's not... You know what? You know what? Fine. I'll go to the stupid... Ah! And Timothy just starts going. Yeah. And I can... I, I'm pinging here on the map where the Yay! clean line surveying is. Perfect. So... That's where you all are. Now, uh, if you can see on the map... To. For for the audience, the the city is the 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 clean line surveying is really towards the northern part of the city, where the the docks are more towards the southern end, and the routes that go off to the farms are towards the east, and the ocean and the bay is to the west. Where's the council that we were at? Uh, the High Council, so is... Let me find it real quick. Right. Okay. North of the Surveyor? Yep. Okay. Yep, All but right. it's on a it's on a cliff. So in order to get you have to get there, you have to kind of go around the cliff yeah. and up. Oh, that and ended. the Academy is also on a cliff, but to the south. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was right next to the High Council. Okay. No, we had a walk. I remember just walking. Okay. So where ex- I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at the map again. Where exactly was was the Suvers thing? Yeah, okay, so we were right there. And then so yeah, Timothy's gonna have Alasha or at least go with Alasha and he's kinda just running through the streets to get to where his uh, crewmates are. But also make sure to keep Alasha like right next to him. Like he's not going so fast that she would be behind him. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, where were they at again? Well, they were heading off to the farms, which w- you would suspect yeah, would be... Yeah, that's... The way out of town would be the main street over he- uh, that yeah. that kind of heads out to the farm, so... Oh, you know what it is? I think Timothy, like, has a moment where he's trying to look around, and he's like, fuck, I hate new cities! Where the hell do we go? And Alasha just, like guides him because he's trying to find where exactly oh, nice. to go. Yeah. So like the two of them together like work together to getting to the farms and mm-hmm. Timothy just like looks to uh, Alasha it's like trust me we're gonna be able to fix this Th- our boss crewmate friend Sh- uh, Sil they're they're smart as fuck they, they don't know what to do and he, and he just <laughs> He keeps going. Also, mm-hmm. our healer Vesuviac's with them. The you're gonna like him. He's a dragon. I think he hates me. Probably does. A lot of people normally do on first encounter. Used to at this point. Yeah. So Z- Zaba finds a pup. <laughs> Zaba, you piece of shit! You're supposed to beat the boat. <laughs> so yeah, you can um. Yeah, you're. I mean, if you're gonna try to find a pub, you could definitely find something in Landfall. He wants something like within eyesight of the ship, if possible. He's not going completely uh, <laughs> AFK. He just needs somewhere to lick his wounds. Well, most of the most of the most of the nicer pubs are up in the Gourmand Ridge, where the Academy of Tastes are. But you could definitely find something. Uh, he doesn't fog. need anything fancy, even like a a bread and be- a bed and breakfast that's right along the coast. That's very yeah. confused about him helping himself to a seat. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, good enough sure. for him for now. Yeah, for sure, you could definitely find something. You run into like some old person couple in this bread and breakfast, and they look mortified to see you coming in. <laughs> yeah, so you could you could definitely find something, as the other the other two are running to find Sill and Vesuviac. Yeah. 
Now, are you two just kind of casually strolling, just leisurely, or we were kind of hustling? We were very casually strolling, I believe, and okay. talking when we, according to the cold open that is before this episode, that, that clap that noise. you got yeah. you audience will have heard. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right before yes. this episode, we turn around and see Timothy. Timothy's waving. He's like, guys. Not only Timothy, but yeah. Alasha. Yeah, he's got an Orpuck uh, with him, Alasha, and he looks panicked as he runs up to you guys. Vesuviak immediately is going to look at Timothy with a big frown, probably not helping out the uh, thought that Vesuviak hates him. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just going to go, where's Saba? Timothy just, like, holds up fingers like, one second. <laughs> Fuck, I made so much. <laughs> I use tree <three> boobs. <laughs> I'm good. God. <laughs> All right. Traps. We're at the the place. Also, this is Alasha. Alasha. Uh, Vesuviak. Sil. Hi. Hey. He's at the boat. <laughs> oh. So you got really hurt. And you escorted him back to the boat to make sure he was okay? <laughs> Timothy has a look on his face like, well, he did not want to listen to me. As I said, hey, let's go together. He said, no, no, no. Zaba, Zaba, fucking stubborn. You go to boat. Like, you, I'll go to <laughs> boat. You go do your own thing. But you made a new friend. This is the person who we are actually trying to help out. Oh, okay. Well, that's and I didn't want to leave her alone in the shop because if I left her alone in the shop, who knows what would have happened? Yeah, lots of scary maps. Timothy looks. It's like the maps are changing themselves. All right, what looked like ink shot out from the back room and attacked Zaba and almost killed him. I think Vesuviak is just going to immediately start walking back towards the ship. Yeah, and Timothy's walking alongside Vesuviak. Sil's gonna check in with Alasha. And, uh, are you um, okay with traveling with us? Timothy didn't like make you come with us or something. Oh, no! Oh, no! 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 He's uh, he was he's a very fine young man. I, I to be quite honest, I don't feel comfortable after what I saw happen to that big fellow. He just went right down like 50 sack of potatoes. It's startling. Timothy points at her. It's like, Ryan was fucking scary! Well, if you want to just, I mean, if you trust us enough, you could, you know, give us the keys. We can go check out your place and you can, you know, you don't have to tag along. Well, I'd like to come just to see what's going on, but maybe I'll just hang out in the street while you go inside and do what you do. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I mean, sounds like we're going to find Saba first. At the boat. Right, Timothy? Oh, yeah. 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 He's supposed to be at the boat. He told me he was going to the boat. And, like, Timothy is just, like, walking with much more of a purpose now, being like, I swear to God, if Saba is not on the fucking boat, I am going to lose it. <laughs> and he, like, turns back to, like, Alash. It's like, again, didn't expect all of that to happen. Sorry that happened. Hey, like, he looks, like, he looks, or at least it was someone who could take a hit like that compared to, you know, you. Because that oh. would have been probably really bad for you. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That yeah, was... Yeah, yeah. Like I said, at least it was the big fella. Or, <laughs> I mean, the dragon probably could have taken it. So and it's sorry. Timothy's like, is that, yeah. Is that too not sensitive enough? The I think all Vesuviak is going to do to acknowledge that is just kind of look behind his shoulder a brief moment and then look back forward and not say a word. Timothy, like, leans to her. It's like... I think he just hates everyone automatically. Like, it, don't, don't worry about it. Oh, I, I know some people like that. You shouldn't meet my brother-in-law, who's just, he just hates change. Oh man, that's the worst. Funny enough, I think he and I would get along well. 
God, he's like he's, he goes to work and they say that you know they're gonna change a process and it's just like why man <laughs> some people gotta get better with that i i swear do i take it we <laughs> 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 were also <laughs> discussing that before i should start <laughs> i think that's the reason why jason did it i'm just uh, glad all the heat is on you for both of these things and not me it's really yeah. funny yeah <laughs> Yeah, but Timothy, Timothy's, I guess, like, guiding everyone back to the ship. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Let's fucking go. Meanwhile, has Zaba made some friends? Are there other people in here he could talk to? Because ideally, at this point, he would have bought a round of drinks and is telling loud, dirty sailor stories in Orpok to anybody that he could make friends with. And you speak Orpok? I do. Zaba does speak Orpok. Oh, that's brilliant. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So make me. Um, what would that be? It's diplomacy? <laughs> it's probably the best option, and none of them are good. Or performance. Or performance, yeah. Go on, Frogman. Perform for us. <laughs> how. how how about lore sailing? <laughs> yeah, you could do that too if you're going to tell oh. like sailing yeah, he, stories. Yeah, that he's makes sense. D- dirty modified sailing stories. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, that was a natural three. Oh, we're, we're up one. We're doing great. You're not part not of the two club anymore. Congratulations. Yeah, so, all right. yeah, as so you're I'm not making many friends. Yeah, as you're telling these stories. You know, um, all the sailors are, they're just like these crusty, tired guys who just, they just want a quiet drink after a long trip. And you're sitting there trying to, you know, rouse up the, and they're just like, oh my God, just one of these guys. It's like, (sighs) shut up, shut up, you know, that. 10 a.m. at a Denny's in the the Midwest countryside. <laughs> uh, there's like three truckers there, and and this guy, uh, <laughs> and nobody wants anything to do with it. Perfect. Perception from the the other three. Okay. See if you, if, if you notice anything. Perception. <laughs> Give me a second. As as you walk by. Oh, good um, lord! You guys all rolled really really well. So Sil. That was a 15 for a 23. Vesuviak was a 14 for a 24. And Timothy was a 14 for a 22. Significantly beating the 3 for 7. <laughs> As the, th- the three of you walk by, you all hear the boo, shut up. <laughs> coming from a tavern that you're walking that you are speed walking past to get to the ship you hear the the loud or equivalent of hey come on i'm a nice guy let's be friends hey why you be so hostile come on timothy groans as he while he doesn't understand the language understands that voice because there's not a lot of voices like and he's like are you fucking kidding me? And Timothy just turns, walks to the the bed and breakfast that this is in, I guess, or the pub, opens yeah, a- up the doors and looks to Zava with the most irritated look. Like, you said you were going to be on the ship, Zava. Ah, uh, you know how it goes, you know? I was walking and because of my grievous wounds, I could feel my blood sugar just going down, so I need to stop. You could have for- asked for orange juice and left, my guy. Oh, no, no, no. I needed something with substance. You see, I'm missing chunks from where the needles went in, so I need meat to fill in the meat. And then these kind <laughs> gentlemen asked me to tell them some stories of my travels. So Timothy it's looks at okay. him like, did he actually ask you? Hey, 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 hey. We're talking right now. Just leave them alone. They are enjoying their breakfast. They don't need you to interrupt them. Did you find them? Timothy turns, looks to the other two. He's in here. Let's go. I think Vesuviak is just going to walk in and immediately see how grievously injured Zaba is. Yeah, he's got some big holes in him. 
Yeah, I think he's just gonna go. Are you going to let me heal you now? Yeah, let's talk outside. <sighs> meat to fill the meat. I think that's the title of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, you know, I'm a good guy. I've been good to you. I didn't go anywhere. I didn't hurt anyone. No fires, no screaming. This is a good show of confidence. Just want to start off by saying that. There was screaming, though, Saba. That's how we found you. We we found people through... I was was speaking Orpok. It kind of sounded like screaming, I guess, if you don't know it. People were booing you, dude. Uh, You you heard wrong. I I am great at telling story and in pub but yeah did you guys go to farm and kill ghost no we had to come back so that way we could patch you up oh all right well you know i can see the ship from here so i did pretty good you did pretty good but you didn't do what you said you were going to do Ah. Timothy misheard me. I said I go to ship probably, or proximity. I also said I breathe underwater, and they didn't even say nothing to that. So, you know, how much uh, reliable information come from young Timothy? Are you fucking I th- serious? I think <laughs> no, Vesuviac no, no. is just going to <laughs> crane his eyes up to Zaba and goes, and how exactly am I supposed to heal you underwater? That's a that's a you problem, I guess. I figure it out later. Saba, it's but, a uh, you problem. Uh, I just need like two or three days to recover, and I'll be good as new. Wait. In two or three days, we're <laughs> leaving, though, and you know we've got these other jobs to do. If we still want to do them, that is. And you wanted me to assist you, eh, Captain? I don't care. Uh, I mean, you should assist uh-huh. us with the forest. You know, the actual mission. If Well, of course. You know, I do what you say. Alright. Is, uh, the agreement. Well, you should... Alright, so you guys want to go to farm, or is it time to take a rest, talk to ca- the bird, Captain Prince? We're going to the med bay, so that way you can get healed, and then we're going to the farm. Well, should, <sighs> shouldn't we deal with this thing we already so, started, though? But- I, I'd, I'd really like it if you could take care of whatever's yeah I I want to help out they... this one first yeah well, you don't mind Vesuviac why don't you just okay. catch him up we'll head back to the surveyor and we'll at least get something done today we'll catch up you know do we uh do we have to yep. sell what do we have to do we go have to... do our job N- no, no. Do, uh... oh do you have to get patched up only if you don't want to die again <sighs> All right, this time you make it quick. Don't uh, get touchy feely. You have several holes in your chest. I yeah, promise keep nothing. It to, keep it to the holes in my chest. I think Vesuviac is going to look a little bit suspicious at that one. If I can, while I treat wounds, I think Vesuviac is just going to do a bit of a cursory look around the wounds. To see if he can find out why Zaba just flat out doesn't want it want to be healed. Sure, you can try. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, that'd be just treat wounds at first, and then do I need to do any like? Uh, is there a roll associated with this? So roll treat wounds, and then roll a secret medicine check afterwards. Okay. All right, here goes the treat wounds. Woo, crit. Nice. That is a critical success on that treat wound. That's a 30. Oh, God. <laughs> Got 18 on a die for a 30. So And 19 total also, hit points back to Zaba. That also gets rid of the wounded one condition for him, right? That's correct. All right. And then cool. uh, secret medicine check. Okay... There you go, Jason. Yeah. For you you have no idea. Okay. Like it's Yeah, you're not sure. Unless... You just you just spent ten minutes patching Zaba up. And for all intents and purposes, it was just like patching anybody up. 
So Zaba have, sat very still for you. You have no idea why he is being so objectionable to being healed. Vesuviak is going to look over at Zaba and be like, all right, you're patched up a little bit more, but I do want an answer. Why don't you want me to heal you? Yeah, we talk about it later. It's nothing to do with the healing, you know. You know, you're, uh... You know, it's... You know, it's, uh... You know, we'll talk later. I just... I like my space to do my, my thinking and, you know... We'll, we'll talk later. I just, yo, know, give me a bit of space. Vesuviak hearing... We'll talk about it later... And knowing what happened with the miscommunication with Timothy and the ship, uh, Vesuviak is going to straight up write down, we'll talk about unwillingness to heal later, and hands it to Zaba and goes, your signature. <laughs> Are you signing contract with Demon? No, I'm making you sign a contract for yourself, so that way we could both agree upon what we spoke today and, re and avoid any miscommunication like you had with Timothy. I'll, uh, I'll go over the details. Zob will take the paper and spend as long as he can just staring at it. There are six words written on that piece of paper. <clears throat> but the implications must be understood before deals not a, or contracts. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a doctor. Worse. You, you make deals for lives. I don't make deals live. for lives, I save them. <laughs> hmm. Just, we see. But, uh, alright. We talk about this later. Do you sign and the then, paper? Uh, yeah, he, he definitely checks it over to make sure that this isn't anything particular... No traps, hidden tricks, meanings, anything like that. But For what it's worth, yeah, Vesuviak would have absolutely written that right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's still cautious. Um, but yeah, if it's if he gets the feeling it'll get you off his back for now, he'll sign it and hand it back to you. Alright. Uh, Vesuviak's gonna pocket that. contract lightly in face. I will eat it. And the contract is gone. Null and void. Very well. Do you want more healing, or are you good with what you got patched up with right now? I, I estimate I have about, about two-thirds of a Timothy, which is not much for a Zaba. So you want another round? Uh, we'll give you another yes, round. Yes, I guess so. We already here doing it. All right. Uh, let's do that. Now, don't forget, if you wanted to, you could increase the DC to 20, right? Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> I got three on the die for a 15, so you get that's eight, eight back That's there. eight more. Yeah. Thank you. Says Corey. Does not say Zava. <laughs> You're welcome, says uh, Jackson, but not Vesuviak. <laughs> Vesuviak is just grumbling all throughout it. <laughs> I think during this entire time, Syl has been subtly hurting. I don't know if any of you are familiar with this, but I do this to my kids all the time. Just subtly moving and hurting everyone towards where we're supposed to be going. Yeah. <laughs> as you talk and do other things. Yeah. Yep. So that was 20 minutes. Good old walk Plus and the heal. the hour of downtime, right? Yeah. Or the hour between checks. No, he has continual recovery. Oh, I forgot yeah. about that. So do we, do we want more? I can keep doing this until you're full if you want. If Zaba wants, let's say. <laughs> you know, you did kind of a bad job last time. One more. We do this one more. All right. One more time for you. Uh, and I can increase it to 20? Yeah. Right? Because you're... Oh, yeah. You and if you do, you, you heal... If you succeed, you'll heal more. Which, for you, it's just you need an 8 or better. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see how this goes. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. 21. Nice. So that was an 11 plus 12 for 23. And you heal 2d8 plus 10 for 21. Perfect. Uh, once again, thank you from Corey. Uh, yes, you did much better job this time. 
Mm. From Zaba. No thank <laughs> you again. <laughs> it's it's a good thing that Vesuviak doesn't look for thanks. <laughs> Otherwise his pride would absolutely be getting the better of him right now. <laughs> All right, Timothy's so- just shaking his head as this is happening, and he actually opens up his uh, water skin of rum and just takes a swig of it, and he's just... He looks exhausted, actually. And it's not just from you guys, but I think just exhaustion in, like, t- in general. Just of things that have happened the last few days. You did go for a bit of a jog. Yeah. This is how he's wet in his whistle. There's yeah. nothing like a jog on a belly full of whiskey. Yeah. I'm not full of whiskey. So after 40 minutes of healing. Yeah. And the walk back to the clean lines surveying. It's getting pretty late. So it's probably evening at about this point. Cool. Oh, so yeah. you're scared. about ready to call it. And I mean, the, the, the sea is looking gorgeous. Like the sun is setting uh, or along the horizon to the west, mm-hmm. and you get to clean lines surveying, and the door is locked. Cool. And, and Alasha goes up and unlocks the door. She's like, "Okay, Whew. so I will just hang out over here. Yeah. And you just do what you do. Yeah, we'll oh. we'll make sure everything's all good. At- we got I, you, Alasha. Uh, I, first, before we go into house, I, Alasha, I assure you, I look scary, but I am good guy. I am trying very hard to make this clear. Oh, so no, here no, you no, go. No, no. I, I, and I believe you. I believe you. Here, here, here is three silver is all money I have left for damages that sure to ensue. And then Zava, Zava will definitely just draw his, his large trident that's covered in skulls and prepare to head his way inside. Absolutely. Yeah, you you all know that there's something in here. Yeah, Timothy looks as he goes in uh, and he because especially because he saw Zaba take that hit I think before he goes in he looks to Lash it's like, we'll figure out what's going on. I promise. And heads on in with a little bit more caution to him this time. And he looks to Zaba as well and is like, stick next to me. I don't want you dying again. Or almost dying, because at least I was able to get you. Alright, you stick close behind. I have stratagem for dealing with trap door. Uh, Zaba will step inside the shop and immediately heft his, his trident and wants to just hum it at this cloth doorway with full intentions of just destroying any draperies or anything that may be hanging there. Well, you, no, you opened it last time, so That's the, right. it's completely open now. Oh, it's just wide open. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Because it triggered as soon Zappa, as you opened it. I don't know if Zappa would remember it being open, so uh, <laughs> it was it was a moment of sheer panic, uh, yes. some may say. All right, yeah. it appears door is open, so stick close. Unless yeah, I, one of you is good at detecting traps. I'm good at being quiet, though. I, I'm i going to perceive again, because now we're we're re-back into this place. Timothy wants to do yeah. vibe check, perception check. So does Absolutely. the Subiac. Do you want me to make it a secret one? No, no, I'm, and I'm not even going to have you roll because you know that in this room there's absolutely nothing that you haven't seen so far. Oh, that's right. You found the ink trap. It's been triggered. That's so true. there's, and for the other two, just so you're aware that this is a tidy office that has a reception area and a meeting room mm-hmm. beyond a velvet privacy curtain that is currently open. Yeah. Can Timothy peek his head into that room into and the, do a perception check? Yeah, and, the and the 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 meeting room or the, the private room, the one where we uh, triggered the ink trap. Okay, the work room. Okay. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to go ahead and peek your head in there, let me give you the flavor text. Please. So it's a work room. And what you notice that there's a bunch of deep shelves and cabinets. Mm -hmm. There's a table that has a bunch of blank parchments 
ink and what looks like like cartographer tools. So you know, like a like a compass and you know rulers and whatnot. And that's like shoved against a rear door to the back. There's low shelves that are filled with maps and ledger lines to the south wall. And then there's taller cabinets that line the north wall. One of the cabinet drawers rattles. And As I then, get closer? Oh, sorry. And then it goes still. Oh, fuck. Timothy takes out his wand. He's just going to have it ready to go. Because he can tell some spookiest shit is up. I think... Is everyone else... Everyone else is in the room right now, right? Or, like, coming still in... Still is standing by the front door still. Okay. Mostly watching... What's her name? Alasha. Yeah. Okay. Timothy... Oh, fuck, yeah. Timothy's actually gonna walk in to the workroom. Like, a little bit. Zaba sticks close behind. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. <laughs> Unfortunate writer dies. So the rattle comes from the shelves to the south. Shelves to the south. Got it. So, hmm. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Can can I roll a little check here? Uh, oh, I'm curious. Is there a way for me to check if this is like an ooky spooky kind of ghost or haunt-esque situation? Because I have a... I have my haunt skill. Mm-hmm. Is is there a way for me to be able to be like the vibe of like, is this actually like a ghost maybe or something like that through haunt or maybe esoteric? Yeah, definitely. So I would say you can give me... Yeah, give me an esoteric lore check. Okay. Fuck yeah. Uh, esoteric check. I will roll that. You want me to do a public or you want me to do it private? Yeah, give it blind. Okay. Baba boy. I don't know what it is. We'll find okay, out. Okay, so together. this is definitely not a haunt. You get the okay. feeling that based off of what you know, mm -hmm. what you've experienced in the past, and just the the vibes that you get based off of the the way the shelves are rattling and how everything looks mm -hmm. that this feels like it's, it's more like a spirit or a creature than an okay. actual haunt itself. Okay. So spirit or a creature. So I think Timothy, <sighs> Timothy takes a beat as he's like realizing this is probably a spirit or something along those lines right now at this point. And he's like, Hey, uh, like Timothy's just like thinking for a minute to like think what he's going to say. He looks at Zaba. There's something definitely here. Spirit esque. You want me to open drawer on cupboard and let spirit out so you can see? Not, not yet. I think I want to let the spirit come out itself. Hey, we killed we killed other spirit when they came out of guy. No problem. We can kill spirits, but I don't want to do that with this one just yet. Not just yet. All right. Timothy, I think, like knocks on the drawer box itself. You know the one. You know that pattern whenever you go up to like a door to be like da 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 da. da. He does that to the door. Or like the little uh, drawer itself is like the the drawer yeah. that's rattling. Yeah, the drawer that's rattling. Just okay. see, or like he does da 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 da, and see if it follows up afterwards, just to see if it will play along with him. Absolutely. And as soon as you do that, we are gonna go ahead and trigger an encounter. How about that? Beans. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Oh my god, what? It's more like I knew it was going to happen, but more along the lines of how it wanted to happen. And I figured, let's do it this way, because this is silly. Sills no. figured out the recipe for surviving forever. Yeah, it's just stay back. Correct. Stay back. Watch the NPC. It was yeah. and very... enter combat after the first round when everybody's used their crazy abilities. No breath weapons, none of that. You have to worry about no generally. Burst, yeah. 
Exactly. It was very, very funny uh, seeing that first encounter where it was Tim and I going into the library and then the two of you hanging back. I'm like, I should probably learn from that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do, uh, right, I should roll initiative. Perception, right? Roll for combat. Roll for combat. Oh, I almost got a nat 20. Dang it. <laughs> Instead, you got an 8. Yeah. 19, though. It's pretty good. 14 for <laughs> 24. I got a 2. So an two 11. For an 11. Total. You're not last. Hey! I'll take that. All right. And as soon as Timothy goes, da 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 da, <laughs> and how the two spirits <laughs> erupt from the, oh. from the cabinets, they go, yeah! <laughs> Timothy, <laughs> Timothy lets out like a drug, like, yes! All right. <laughs> and so you hear that, and. But <laughs> like, we <laughs> begin. We begin with Zaba. Thank God. So, Zaba, Here. you see these two creatures. They look exactly the same, and I am going to reveal their character art to you. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, these are cool. <gasps> All right. Would you like a description? Sure, yeah. Either you all cool. can go ahead and describe it. I got this. I'm familiar with this being. Not in the sense that I know what this monster is called, but because I've seen it in my dreams before. Huh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so what we're looking at is kind of a being made out of almost the, the drawings you would see depicted by a madman la locked in an asylum. Lots of odd scribbles and scratches with circles with, you know, eyes drawn into them with lines through them. Lots of arcane sig sigildry. Um, it's kind of a, a wraithy form. Um, think Witch King of Agamemnon. Uh, clawed hands, what appears to be a number of glowing eyes or orbs throughout its body. Shrouded heavily in a fog of, or a cloud of mist or fog. Huh could be either. I'm not sure what its uh, moisture level's like. <laughs> Quick check the moisture of the ink. Well, and the drawings it's made up of are, like, map symbols, right? Like map mountains. symbols. Smi like, there's a smiley yeah. face in there as well, too. It's, like, words and other things like that. I'm just, I keep looking back at the it smiley face and the heart. a safe call to presume it is made up out of the symbols off the various charts and maps and whatnot. Yeah. And God, I didn't even notice the smiley face. Good hey, call. Hey, you see it? It's so There's like an E for like east. Yeah. Like right on its hip. There's a heart actually with like a line through it as well too, where the heart would be at. That's really cool. Oh, this. Oh, that is cool. Awesome. Yeah, there's like like the heart tattoo with like yeah, yeah. the arrow going through it. Yeah, that is really cool. And I, I, I didn't even notice like the smiley face and the heart. <laughs> Those are the first things that I noticed. This is like a. <laughs> Just other things I like to oh, see. Oh, yeah. You, you're going to get a kick out of this creature. Oh, Ruiner. I adore it. Dude, are you kidding me? This is my whole shit. Right. Timothy looks very excited, but also kind of nervous. Like, shit, right? All right Shouldn't Zava. be excited about these. You, you, All right. These things erupt, and you're the, your twitchiness, because you are on high alert. You get to go oh, first. I was, I was ready. Yeah. I'll take my first action to stride to the south, kind of middling myself between both of the specters mm -hmm. behind Timothy along the bookcases. Okay. And I will first lash out at the specter to the north of Timothy, or directly beside Timothy with my trident. All right. Oh my god, my hero. That is a seven for a total of an 18, which misses. Ooh, that misses, yep. Yeah, that's what I figured. But he's nothing if not persistent, and will strike again with that attack penalty for a 16 total this time. So, uh, uh, yeah, I believe that's that's Zaba. He's there, he's angry, and he's swinging at things. Go, All Zaba, right. go. My king. Vesuviak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Vesuviak remembers. And you can see these things, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see them. They're within light of sight. Okay. 
Vesuviak remembers that Timothy has had some trouble in the past. So what Vesuviak is going to do is going to move two stride actions to get right behind Timothy. Thanks, uh, bud. And then I'm going to go ahead and cast with my last action, Guidance, onto you. And uh, that is my three actions. Very nice. Aww. All right, Cell, you are up. Yeah, I had been suspiciously watching the surveyor, but seeing them all go into this room and make loud noises, I will more closed. Drop into a stance and start walking up. So I'm walking through the main room, down behind a desk in the room that everyone else is in. And now you can see the creatures. Okay. All right. Well, the first creature is going to go. What's up? And the first thing it's going to do, first action, to look at the big mean guy that just tried to stab it, stab its friend. Mm -hmm. And it's going to fling some ink right at Zaba. And I'm going to need you to make this reflex save, Zaba. All right. Zaba can do this. He's not going to fail two reflex saves in a row against the ink. What? Zaba? That is a success. Oh, thank goodness. Unaffected. Oh, good. All right. So you are completely unaffected. And this thing speaks out in common in this really like breathy voice and says looks like you're an agile one well let's see you try to dodge this and he whips out a tendril at Zaba from reach and misses again and then we'll try its third action to whip out a tendril and critically miss, rolling a natural two. Ooh, it danced on that 20 for a second, though. It joined the two club. It, it did the join two the two club. Welcome to the two club, creature. Your All right, no- Timothy. Your numbers are fathomless. Hi, sorry. Lunar, real quick, check it in to say, hi, this thing's my whole shit. I'm so excited. I am jazzed to fight this thing. All right. Okay. Timothy obviously clocks that this thing's got tendrils and things like that. It's like, okay, no for later. And I think, well, I said that he has his implement already in hand. Because I had a feeling some wackadoo shit was going to happen. I am trying to think what I want to do first. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to do exploit vulnerability on this cat in front of me. This dude. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this guy. Let me actually do the thing. Boop. So yeah, I'm using exploit vulnerability, uh, and I have to roll this. That's right. Correct. Boop. Roll. Yeah, you gotta target it. Yes, I did. I already have it targeted. Very nice. Okay. Oh. Do you want to spend your hero point? Yeah, I do. So okay, then I just got to so click hero point, right? Oops, sorry, go ahead. We are going to pause real quick. Pause the action. Because we forgot to give out hero points at the beginning of this episode. So, super quick. Real quick pause. Okay. Everybody okay. refresh their hero point. Yay! Uh, we're, uh, we're not pausing the recording. We're pausing, oh, yeah. the, we're pausing the combat. Yeah. Sorry, listeners. I already had one, so would I get two or... Nope, nope. We have, okay. we're, we're refreshing hero points. Mm-hmm. So whatever you didn't spend, you didn't spend. Everybody gets one. Okay. Now what we do is the party, the four of you get to nominate one of yourselves for a bonus hero point uh, based off the last four episodes. I, the GM, get to nominate one of you four for a, for a bonus hero point. And the listeners get to submit um listener hero points and we'll draw one of those so the listeners at the five dollar 
two dollar no, dollar Patreon. Two dollar yeah. and up. So basically, if you support us on Patreon, two dollars is the lowest you can support us. Um, two dollar and up, you can submit listener hero points. So we'll go quick go party hero point. I nominate Saba for basically killing the last thing we fought and describing killing stuff as an art form. Yeah. <laughs> I, I nominate Zaba too, just because, God, he's been playing so well to his character. Yeah, same. I mean, zaba has got to be it for me, too. zaba has been doing fantastic. Thanks, guys. I uh, Zaba, Zabas are trying really hard to be a good guy. Um, once again, I'm going to throw it out there that, as always, I'd like to give my hero point to to uh, Rachel for handling the monster parts because I still don't understand oh, them. Yeah. And mm. Rachel, you're I'll, a goddamn I'll you, hero. I'll give you a hero point every time we give hero points for doing that <laughs> at this point. Well, majority rules. Zab, yeah. Zaba gets the hero, the party hero point. The GM hero point goes to Lunar for playing Timothy spot on. Thanks. I think uh, T- Timothy's role playing has been phenomenal. So that is the GM hero point. And the listener hero point, I need somebody to roll a D6. Somebody roll a D6 in Foundry for, for us. I got you. Oh. That is a one. And the listener hero point is a random from Caleb. Caleb says, going in uh, going in one more round when you don't think you can. That's what makes all the difference in your life. Thanks, so Caleb. Now, roll a d4, uh, Jackson. We'll see who oh. this one goes to. All right. We got ourselves a four. That's another one for Corey. Corey is maxed out at whew, three Damn, hero Corey? points. Zaba's doing damage Zaba. until they reset. Okay. Time to get reckless. All get right, reckless, buddy. King. Thank you, Caleb. All right, so we are back up into combat. Uh, you rolled a natural one on your exploit I, vulnerability. You now have a hero point. I would like to use my hero point, please, and All thank right. you. So you can right click on that 13 and re roll using a hero point. Re-roll That's the hero point of economy point. that GMs yeah. love to see. Oh! That is a success. Ah. You recall an important fact about the creature, learning its highest weakness. And for the listeners, that was an 11, or 10. Yes. Plus. 12. Did an 11 with your with your guidance. Yes. So that would make it a 23. Oh, you're right. So that's still, that's still, still just a normal success. Yes. So you, re- you recall an important fact about the creature, learning its highest weakness. And this creature ha- does not have a weakness. So you now have a personal antithesis yes. against it. Excellent. So you can apply that. Yes, I will. I will apply the personal antithesis. Okay. So now that Timothy has figured out this thing a little bit more, let's see. Hmm. Trying to think of the best thing Timothy would want to do against this cat with this inky fool. Do you have diverse lore? Uh, I I do actually, if I'm not okay. mistaken. You do. When you succeed an exploit vulnerability check, you use the result of your esoteric lore check to, as a DC for the recall knowledge check, which that was That's also right. a success. Yeah. So what you know is you know that this thing is called a Yam Hibdi. This is a chaotic neutral aberration, and a uh, chaotic n- neutral aberration that is also ethereal. Yam Hibdis are information devouring ab- abominations that resemble floating humanoids made of ink scrawled words, phrases, and symbols. They manifest in the ethereal plane from the wasted ink and squandered emotional ed- energies of artists, poets, and writers who give up on works before they're finished. And I would, uh, you can ask one question. What would you like to know about it? Oh, what is this thing immune to? 
Oh, good question. This is uh, Rachel's least favorite thing. <laughs> this thing is immune to critical hits, precision damage, sleep, blind, and unconscious. Interesting. Okay, so Timothy, as he does this exploit vulnerability to it, he has like a look of almost like not recognition, but of like he's understanding and looks to everybody and says, Hey, uh, precision's not gonna work on this thing. You're gonna need to figure out something else. Also, can't go to sleep, and for whatever reason, I feel like, I don't know, some higher being is telling me something called a critical success is not gonna work on it. I don't understand what that means. Timothy looks to this thing, and he is going to cast one of his spells at him, the cantrip. He's going to cast days on him. Ooh, good call. Yeah, since he has a, since he remembers that this thing is not a, immune to mental stuff, he's gonna cast. Uh, he's gonna cast this on this thing. So it's gotta make a will save. All right, let's let's see. That is a five on the die. That is a failure. It's gonna take full damage. Yeah, it is. Let me roll that damage. It should be targeted, so let me double check. T for target. That is four straight That's up right, four yeah. mental damage. Yeah, it always does four mental damage. That's right. So, mm-hmm. yeah, Timothy. I think what he does is he uh, he is like saying things under his breath, and for whatever reason, this thing is able to hear it in its mind, and it's just like. What would you do with a drunk kid, sailor? What would you do with a drunk kid, sailor? <laughs> just that over and over again, and it's just like, fuck, stop, God, it's weird. Uh, <laughs> and that's what Timothy does to this thing. It did not critically fail, so it does not get stunned, unfortunately. Yeah, and um, your exploit vulnerability is only on your weapons and unarmed attacks. Yeah. So this was a spell, it doesn't work, but. Yeah. The Yam Hibdi gets to go next, and this thing is just like, and you're in its head, it's like, oh, fucking stop. And it will, this one will um, also try to flick some ink right at you, Timothy. Ew, don't do that. It's gross. So I gotta roll. Do I have to roll? Yep, you will. Let me throw it on there. Sick. So roll that reflex save for me. Baba booey. That is a five on the die. You failed. As you get hit by this glob of ink that from its body, just kind of, since it's made of ink, Mm -hmm. it just flung this this ink at you. You now are considered blinded. Oh, God. Um, You can spend two actions on your turn to wipe away the ink and remove the blinded condition. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. And that was it. That's uh, one action that it did. And now it's going to target you. And it is going to whip you with some tendrils. And that's a two on the die. That's a big old miss. And it's going to try to do it again. And miss again. I cannot hit with these tendrils. All right. Timothy. (laughs) I I joined the two club on that first hit. (laughs) So both of my Yam Hibdis have joined the two club. <laughs> Timothy, the numbers grow. When uh, when Timothy gets blinded by this thing, he hears like those tendrils because he remember. I think he actually clocked the noise of what the tendrils like sounded like when they hit around Zava, and he just like moves out of the way. It's like not my first ra- time around tentacles. You're gonna have to be better than that. <laughs> Vesuvius gonna look very concerned at hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. Zaba, you're up. Uh, this stupid spear doesn't hurt spirits. Uh, free action to just let it go. Drop it to the ground. There you go. Oh, God, it hurts. Single drop. action. What happened? To draw my, my favorite weapon. My just jagged, brutal-looking bastard sword. Two-handed. Uh, so that's two of said actions. Or, no, that's one action. And then, yeah, I'll just strike at uh, the specter directly beside Timothy. 
All right. Uh, I've, that's a four for uh, 15 total. So I was starting to, starting to sweat his ability a little bit. So he's going to try and miss again. That was an 11 for a 17. Doing great. And we turn to Vesuviac. Vesuviac's definitely going to continue to sustain guidance on Tim, but I oh, also... He's, no, Tim's immune to guidance now, because he, he used it, and oh, guidance yes. has an immunity of one hour. Oh, that's right. Alas. Sorry, bestie, you can't have it anymore. Let's see. I'm looking at haunting him, and that looking good. Here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to go ahead and cast Guidance on Zaba instead. He kind of needs it. Yep. He's noticing you're missing. <laughs> yeah. And he is also going to go ahead and... I think he's going to... Can I still cast spells if I have my sword drawn? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's going to use one action to draw a scimitar and the other action to raise his shield. There you go. You just wouldn't be able to um, battle medicine. You'd have to drop. That's fine. One of them. Zaba's immune to that right now, anyway. All right, Sil. Yes, I will move up next to Timothy so that I am diagonally adjacent to one of these things. And then, even though precision damage isn't going to help, I will still go ahead and twin faint to get the flat-footed on the second one. So strike number one is... A miss! No. Yeah, three for 14, that's good. Oh, strike no! Strike number, <laughs> number two will have the flat-footed. It's now called off-guard. Off-guard. Mm, change. <laughs> uh, that's, a that's a 14 for 21. That's a hit. And just normal damage. Precision. The precision's still in there because the thing is on, but it'll be immune to it anyway. So yeah, I just don't. Know All right, it. it'll take six. it'll take six slashing damage. Cool. Okay. Well, the Yam Hibdi gets to go. Is it looking rough now? Oh no. It's a pretty devastating strike. Though. All right. It's no longer off guard. So this Yam Hibdi gets to go. And it is going to spend some turns. Let's see. It will. What's its speed? 25. Okay. It's going to move right around to the other side of Zaba. And for one action, it's going to try to fling some ink at Zaba one more time. Foolish. All right. So make that reflex save for me. Hey, that's a failure. That's, I don't think so. so <laughs> I'm just gonna roll that again. I'm gonna use my first of hero points. Yeah, I know. Because I don't you're want to them. be blind. Oh, well, I rolled. Uh, my reroll was a two, taking me from a thirteen to a ten. <laughs> hero well, point into the two glove. Yep. All right, so that's its second action. And for its third action, it will lash out with its t a tendril. Critical hit, natural 20. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm immune to those. <laughs> yeah, I'm immune to critical hits. Or 22. <gasps> Ouch. All right, cool, thank you. That's a good amount of damage. <laughs> okay. Hey. Thank you. I'm really glad to heal. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm fine. I still have I still have a Timothy worth of hit points. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay. All right, so Timothy, you are blinded. Remember, this is just a glob of ink in your eyes. You can take two actions to wipe it off. Yeah, Timothy's gonna take his two actions to wipe off the ink. All right. No longer uh, blinded. So Timothy, seeing that one of the spirits left, is like, okay, so that's not gonna be in front of me. Thank God. Uh, he is going to, because he only has one action left. <laughs> okay, he is going to demoralize this sucker in front of him. Ooh, good call. 
Nice. Because I think that would be a really smart idea. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to attempt my intimidation check on this cat, which is going to be pretty fucking good. Let's see. Oh, we that need was to a... roll better. Five for a 17. Oh, Oof. I'm thinking if I want to re-roll that. Do you have two hero points? You just... I do. No, because we refreshed the one That's and right. then I was given one. That's right. Saving one in case you get critically hit and need it to stabilize yourself is never a bad plan. Yeah. Just throwing that out there, not yeah. telling you what to do. But, yeah, uh, Timothy... Having a back pocket hero point feels good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm normally... I normally back pocket those on the off chance of critical fails like that. I think Timothy... tries to do his demoralized shout, but I think... As, like, he's about to say something, a little bit of the ink that he just wiped off goes into his throat. He's like, uh, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> shit. <laughs> and just, <laughs> just is unable to speak. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Well, that Yom Hibdi that you just tried to demoralize was like, oh, okay. That's fair. Let's do this. And he is going to look right at Timothy. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Or it's going to look right at Timothy. And it's going to spend two actions to Whoa. probe your mind. And I need you to go ahead and make me a will save. Okay, that was a failure. As the Yamhibdi probes your psyche and brings to the surface... You, all, all the feelings that you've ever had of self-doubt and unoriginality. Oh, that was there all to begin with. It's just now actually showing its ugly face. You are now stup or failure. You are now stupefied too. For two rounds, for the next two rounds, you're stupefied too. And the Yam Hibdi gets to heal itself for 14 hit points. Yeah. Bringing it back up to... Wait. Uh, that was Zaba. <laughs> hey, um, hey, thanks. Uh, I'll take that damage. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. I guess the heal, it's... Damn it! <laughs> I did it again. Zaba really wants Zaba's to be healed. Zaba's like, what can I say? I'm a nice guy. I steal your health. Fuck you. All right. That'd be a cool ability. All right. <laughs> and it heals itself back up to full. Yeah. That was two actions. And for its third action, it did, didn't like getting hit by Cell. So it's going to whip a tendril at Cell. And critically miss with a natural one. Whoa. That's good. And we go back up to the top. Zaba. Zaba's blind. It'd be welcome to the club. He's not crazy about that. So mm -hmm. he'll spend the two rational rounds to clear his eyes so he can see what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to just make almighty overhand, two-handed strike down on this specter with his bastard sword in an attempt to cut it in half. Do it. And that was a natural one. Do you want to spend one of your hero points? No. Okay. I love the confetti for oh that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not I your territory. Yeah. All right, Vesuviak. Okay, then in that case here... Uh, can I cast two focus spells in the same round? You just have to... You're going to spend two focus points. Yeah, as long as they're not... As long as you've got the actions for it and the focus points, I think it's fine. Okay. Then, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my focus points to cast Lay on Hands on Zaba. Get you some health back. And then I just click Healing. Yep. Okay. So, good amount there. And then, with the Yum Hibdi that's currently uh, giving Zaba a hard time. Is that one uh, impacted by cover? Because uh, because uh, Zaba's in between me and him. Yeah, it'll just be lesser. Lesser cover? That's what? Plus two to AC? Will be, yes, plus two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... I don't want to move from this spot. 
I'm going to go ahead and do something risky then, and I'm going to cast uh, my other focus spell, which is Fire Ray. So okay. I just click the attack button there. A tar- yeah, as long as you're targeting the Yamhibdi, yes. Yes, I am. All right, attack. We'll do it. I believe in you. 13. That was a three on the die for a 13. That's a miss. Well, I uh, definitely want to keep my hero point, so I'm just going to grumble to myself be like, God, trying not to set things on fire, but at the same time, things might get set on fire. (laughs) All right, so. Yeah, I see that one has moved in such a way that I could flank it with Saba, so I will move away from Timothy's ghosty thing and towards Saba's ghosty thing. And even though, again, no precision, but two hit is better. Uh, Striking it, attempting to strike it. An 11 on the die. That's a hit. 22. Use the damage. Ignoring precision. That one wasn't in there. Eight. All right. That will be eight damage. All right. And we will attempt again. Oh, wow. 19 for nice. 26. Hey. More damage. Six. Okay. Just chipping away. Chipping away. Yeah, chip mm-hmm. damage is better than nothing, though, with these things. And yeah. this thing doesn't like what's going on, Cell. So we're going to fling some ink at you. Kip. Can you make me that reflex save? Ooh. 17 for 29. <laughs> yeah, critically succeed on that one. Mm. All right. Well, then it's going to dredge sorrow. Doesn't like that. Can you make that will save? Probably not. I believe in you. Flex was much better. 13 on the die. Four. That's a success. Oops. Sorry. I clicked it twice. 13 on the die is a success. <laughs> so you are Yay. stupefied one for just one round, but it doesn't heal itself. As again, it plunges your psyche to bring about those feelings of self doubt. And as it <clears throat> plunges your psyche, it starts talking. It's like, oh, so vooly. That's who you have buried down in there. To talk to me in my brain. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. As long as it's not out loud. All right, Tim. Tim, Tim. Yeah, Timothy. Oh, I think Timothy for like a second is like shaken up and he points. He points his wand to this thing. He's like, no one else is allowed in there. And he throws. He's doing fling magic. All right, just the regular. Or are you going to do the, um, the boost? The boost. Oh yeah, you're right. You know what? Uh, no, I yeah. You gotta you gotta roll d4, um, because that's how it takes to recharge the boost. Oh yes. I mean, you you, you can still use your star knife until yeah, it's until it's recharged. That's true. Because you have think... the personal antithesis with any weapon. That's true. Uh, I think I'm not gonna do the level boosted damage just because I don't. Just the regular? Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna. Hey. My luck's been shit. I don't want to chance anything. Uh, fuck Hell yeah. me. It critically succeeded its reflex. Wait, no. I thought that was you. Damn it. No. <laughs> I cheered for the wrong. That was two I'm actions. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's two actions. Okay. And I think because the wand is only a one-handed thing, Timothy is going to take out his star knife. For his third action? Yeah, for his third action. But he's looking at this thing. While it looks to him probably as like trying to intimidate, in actuality, this thing can tell it has shooken up his his mind. Because it probably saw some things, some flashes of Timothy, that it's probably never going to want to see ever again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well... This thing just dodged out of Timothy's uh, way. Yeah. He, it's like, all right, well, it's feel it's full up on hit points. 
it can see that Vesuviac is the one that's keeping everybody alive. He's like, oh, no, 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 that will not do. And it moves up. Do, uh, that's right, I was going to say, there's no way I can do opportunity attack since it left me. No. No. Means. And it's going to start whipping its tendrils at Vesuviac. One. That is one hit for 12 damage. Oh, yep, shit. that's that's a bit. And number two is going to be a miss. Thank goodness. Miss! It's like, oh, I'm going to get you, you little dragon. Not if I get you first. Gross. All right, Zaba. All right, so, you know, I've been trying to be such a nice guy, but this is really just getting under my skin so deep. Zaba, I'm kill not, these things! Not doing so great over here, guys, so be careful. And oh. Zaba's just going to lose his cool and is going to rage. What? And he is not having fun anymore. Uh-oh. So... He's going to rage, and he's going to start lashing out quite quite violently. You'll notice he gains about four inches, if possible, to his height in this room. His kind of slouched demeanor is not so slouched. And, uh, yeah, he's going to rain down hate on the one directly to his left to begin with. And what, and what was your instinct? Oh, yeah, the giant. I am giant. Oh, that's a big hit. So that is a 25. Uh, off of a uh, 14 on the die. Oh, big, big hit. Uh, 13 points of just big rage, angry damage with a 1 and a 6 on them D12s. Big inky. Yeah, it could have been better, but still. Could have been better. Still. And Ooh, that's a huge still. chunk. Yeah, and he's going to, seeing it not wither before him, will strike again and miss. Ooh, 5 on the die for 11. This is, this is fine. All right, Vesuviac. Yeah, now you're raging. Now you have access to a bunch of abilities. All yes. right. Also, the rage effect on Foundry looks super cool. Big it fan. looks yeah. rad. Absolutely. So Vesuviac, I think, is going to stride forward to get in front. Or would that be a stride or a step? Just to move five feet. A step. I guess it... He'll step forward to the uh, thing that taunted him. Uh, he's going to look at it and be like, All right, big mistake. And he's going to swing his scimitar at him. Nice. Oh. Seven on the die for 16 is a miss. Okay. Uh, I'm going to raise my shield. This is my last action. Okay. <laughs> I've taunted and I have, I'm about to just... In a thrashing. <laughs> All right, Sil, you are no longer stupefied. Not that I really did hey, anything for you. I did not. Sil doesn't, you know, have a cool ragey effect, but they definitely look more pissed off after the invasion of their brain. And they will just start swinging. Three on the die. Probably not good enough. Fourteen. No. Nope. Swing again. Oh, baby. 16 on the die is going to hit, though, with a 23. Okay. Little damage. Snake eyes. <laughs> Six damage, yep. And I don't have any one-action things that are useful, so I will just go at full map and swing one more time. Five on the die. Yeah. Plus three. That's an eight. Nah, That's a critical miss. Hmm. All right, well, this Yom Hibdi does not like what's happening and is not feeling so hot. So it is going to move away. I'm going to follow it. Oh, okay. You're going to spend your reaction? Um, I am going to use my reaction to trigger no escape and oh. stick right next to it. All right. Okay. And it will. Uh, it did not expect that. It is not liking what just happened. And it's going to spend two actions to look right at Zaba. 
and do what I was originally planning on doing, which was dredge sorrow and make a will save Zaba. Which this has the mental effect. Do you have do you get bonuses? While raging? You might. Fight. Uh, let me check here. I don't While believe raging. so offhand. Oh, not anymore. I think that was first edition. Yeah, with a... Uh, doesn't look like it. I just can't concentrate. Yep. Which is alright. So a will save it is. That's rough, King. Well, I mean, Stupefy 2 doesn't he doesn't care at all. Like, you don't care. It's no big but thing. it's going to heal 14 hit points. That's the big Yeah, deal. I'm not crazy about that. Which still is not... You guys did way more damage to this thing. And that is its turn. Timothy, you're up. So, if I'm mistaken, this is my last round of Stupefy on me, correct? Yeah, you don't, you don't have it anymore. It's gone. Oh, it is gone? Yeah, because you only had it for two rounds. Okay. So, I didn't think two rounds passed though. Um, you got it in round two. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you should still have it. But... Still have it for one more round. That's what I was trying to remember. Okay. Yep. I'm keep. I'm, I'm wanting to keep it honest. I would have. I would have been yep. like, oh no, no, no. Uh, no. At the end of round four, you, you it goes away. Yes. So Timothy still slightly shaken up. He is going to fling magic at this thing again. You want it? You want hit the one that's. Oh, you want the the one that's targeting Vesuviac. You should you should have the you, you should also have personal antithesis on the one that's the one that. I should that's, have personal antithesis on both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's since what I'm I saying. Since I know what they are. Yeah. I didn't know that. Since you since know. they're both the same exact thing. Oh, ah, pretty neat. So okay. you could target the one that's damaged too if you wanted. Yeah. Here's the thing, though, is that Timothy wants to back up Vesuviac because Vesuviac has had his back. That's true. That's true. Timothy's wanting to protect the healer. That's true. So Timothy's going to fling magic at this fucker. Uh, make that reflex save. Oh. I'm just going to do this real quick to throw it on there. <gasps> All right. It oh. needs to make a reflex save. Yeah, it needs to make a reflex save. I got excited for a second. I thought that, that was right. the roll for <laughs> Oh, come on. 18 on the die, plus 15 is a critical success. I Vinegar. Vinegar and salt run through my blade. Yeah. It's, well, then it's, it's, it's got real good reflex. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm tracking right now. So Timothy is like, all right, fine. And he's going to throw his star knife, actually, at it. Oh, nice. So I guess roll for strike or map? I'm trying to think. No, you, you full, full on strike. Cause okay. It is throwable, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Yeah, so I will, I guess... It's not returning, though, so it won't come back to you. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Four on the die is good. Plus eight's a 12. I think he's got some high AC. Yeah, and we're going to end it after after this round, because these guys are basically at full hit points still. And it's almost... And we're still at the bottom of round four, so... After this Yam Hibdi goes, we're going to call it an episode. And we will hate to end it mid-combat, but that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, the one you just threw a star knife at just laughs right at you. It's like, oh, really? Really? That's what we're going to do now? Okay, just let me quick quick take care of this, this little sun priest. And it is going to... All right, I'm gonna flick flick some ink right at all the Suviac's face. All right, I don't think I'm particularly good at reflex, but let's see it. Guidance yourself, you I, son of a bitch. I can't. It's not my turn. I know. <laughs> uh, do I just click the reflex button? Yeah, just the one in chat. All right. Prayer. Natural twenty. Oh, let's go. Natural 20. That's a critical success. You are totally fine. It's it splashed like, oh. on my shield. <laughs> yeah, it completely splats right on your shield. It's like, oh, I see how it is. Well, then it's going to strike at you. Two on the die is going to be a miss. And one more. And three on the die. All right. Ending it on a two and a three. 
Well, folks, um, this party's not going to end. We're going to continue it next episode. And we hope your party doesn't end. Take it easy. Bye. See ya. Bye. The Jewel of the Indigo Isles Adventure Path is copyright 2023. All logos, titles, and artwork are property of Skyscraper Studios and Roll for Combat and used with permission. Pathfinder is a trademark of Paizo Incorporated. The theme music is written and performed by Robbie Whiplash.